Mercury's magnetic field is approximately a magnetic dipole that is significant and apparently global on planet Mercury. Data from Mariner 10 led to its discovery in 1974. The spacecraft measured the field's strength as 1.1%, that of Earth's magnetic field. The origin of the magnetic field can be explained by dynamo theory, and, because the magnetic field is strong enough near the bow shock, it slows down the solar wind, which induces a magnetosphere. The magnetic field is about 1.1% as strong as Earth's, at the Hermine equator. The relative strength of the magnetic field is around 300 nt although much weaker than Earth's magnetic field according to Mariner 10 data. The magnetic field is still strong enough to deflect solar wind emissions inducing a magnetosphere because Mercury's magnetic field is weak while the interplanetary magnetic field it interacts within its orbit is relatively strong. The solar wind dynamic pressure at Mercury as orbit on the average is also a factor of three larger than that at Earth, for example. Mercury's magnetic field being weaker than Earth's may be because its core had cooled and solidified more quickly than the Earth. Scientists have detected Mercury's magnetic field to be weaker than Jupiter's moon Ganymede's. Whether the magnetic field changed to any significant degree between the Mariner 10 mission and the Messenger mission remains an open question. A 1988 J.E.P. Connerny and N.F. Ness review of the Mariner magnetic data noted eight different papers in which were offered no less than 15 different mathematical models of the magnetic field derived from spherical harmonic analysis of the two close Mariner 10 flybys with reported centered magnetic dipole moments ranging from 136 to 350 ntrm3. In addition they pointed out stomates of the dipole obtained from Boshak and Slash or Magnetopause positions range from approximately 200 ntrm3 to approximately 400 ntrm3. They concluded that the lack of agreement among models is due to fun. Thank you for watching. For more educational videos, please subscribe to WizScience on YouTube or visit wizscience.com.